Okay, so today we're going to be uh, covering more of the uh, the old Joseki, and we're going to go over Black's responses and what Black can do and when they should do them. Uh, with this uh, basic Joseki, it's almost impossible to be bad. So I'm not going to go over too many variations here. Um, just this one, because like this is in any situation is probably good enough. I don't think it could be bad in any situation. So the attach is probably the most uh, flexible one, because when you attach here, this is normally the what's considered the best variation for black now. Um, white can take this corner. Black has a cutting point here, so normally they push, and then they defend their cutting point, and then they jump. So white played this attach to force black into playing this shape so that he could help support this stone over here. So this stone can be used to try to add stones to this side in a more forceful way so that you can help other weak stones over here. Okay, and the next example. Okay, so here's another uh, situation where this move is played and uh, white just backs off, which is okay, and then he does this one. So here it's similar to the last situation where there's some stones over here that you want to help support. Um, so you play the attach. And black can push as many times as he wants here, but eventually he has to come back and fix his cutting point. And so at this point, white has lots of liberties now, so if he went here, there's a cut here. So black has to come back and defend. And then white can turn here. So black doesn't really make too many points here. Uh, white gets his corner with some weaknesses, but not too much. And white also has uh, a pretty good extension here. And now if black does this one, it's not sensei. And later on, white can always uh, play this one as well. Okay, and uh, next example. So we've looked at examples of where this attach is used to support stones, but it can also be used to uh, grow a bigger area. Instead of playing this move and then letting uh, white push here, black can also extend. And then when white takes the corner, you make a base. So this has a base. It's perfectly safe. Can't really be attacked too well. And now black has stones here and is growing this area which looks like it'd be bigger than the corner. So that's another way that uh, this attach can be used. Okay, so here's another case where uh, white has some influence on this side. So white wants to uh, try and build. So black would probably want to do something like this to try and prevent the pincer. And then white can just kick. And this looks a bit weird, but it could work. Um, but also can just tanuki somewhere. Um, but if they play this slide, then this attach works pretty well because it goes the same way where if you play this one you can uh, play the outside one he takes the corner again you make the base and now you're growing this area and we already showed in the, the first joseki video why this one doesn't work out too well because black just has too many cutting points and weaknesses so black can't really fight back to try and reduce this in a good way Okay, so next we're going to cover the uh, the pincer. So this one is a little bit more flexible, uh, but it also gives black more options. It's not as forceful. Um, but both are pretty similar. It kind of just depends on your preference and which one you like. So here black can go into the corner. Uh, white can attach on top. Can make a base here or extend here. Uh, but because here there's a weak stone here that white wants to uh, try and put some pressure on, he can make this base here. And then black simply just defends. And now you can see this is pretty flexible. If uh, black tries to pincer in some way, white can just try to connect here. Um, or even like just jumping out like this or this would be okay. Um, it's not the best shape but it works. Okay, and lastly, we're gonna go over some 
Um, I guess mistakes. Um, a lot of times I've seen this where they just will tanuki here. And I see mistakes on both sides. For one, white really shouldn't tanuki here. He should make the base. This one black pincers. Um, it's quite severe, um, but not too severe. So a lot of times what I see black does when he pincers here is he tries really hard to kill. But it's actually quite hard to do. Um, a is probably the most common one. And if black just makes a base here, white can do this. And he has good shape. He has some eye shape here. He can turn in through the corner. He can jump out. And uh, white is just okay here. <coughs> <clears throat> but it's black what you shouldn't do is you shouldn't try to surround and kill this unless you can profit and build a lot on the outside but I see a lot of uh, Q players will they see that they didn't make a base here and they feel like to punish they have to kill or surround and make it live really small or something like that but really this is profit enough for black black got points on the side here and black got to play up here and get profit and white doesn't really have any points here. So to me, this is a punishment. Um, it doesn't have to be any more extreme than that. Um, something else black can do is if you don't like black getting this shape, the only way to really prevent it would be to play this one, which looks ugly, but it's also ugly for uh, white. Because white has to play this one. And then you can turn here. And then it kind of turns into a fight. So if white just tries to run here, Black can make a base or even jump here, and white just gets attacked. So white will pincer here, and if black jumps out, white jumps out and it turns into a fight. And can maybe connect under here later. And if black tries to prevent that, then this is not as uh, easy to surround now. So white can make a base here and can still get out somehow. Okay. Uh, white can also jump out to B, um, but then it kind of just turns into this running fight. And depending on what's over here, could be good for one or the other. So like if black has, uh, you know, stones over here, then it would probably be good for black. But if uh, white has stones here, then it might be a little bit closer to even. Because maybe white can uh, put some pressure on these two stones. And black's not really making profit, and white's also not making profit. but there's a chance that later on, if White gets some stones here, he can push here and put some pressure on this group. So again, this is better for Black, but it's not like game ending. But you shouldn't try to kill. That's the mistake I see most people make. They always try to kill. Um, this one's a little bit more complicated, um, but pretty much Black will just turn here, and White can Tanuki, and kind of like sacrifice it to where white, uh, black had to play a lot of stones here to capture, which is a lot of points. But if these two moves are also big, then it could be close. Um, and normally if you play this attach, you don't really want to respond again. Like if you're gonna jump here, you might as well have just jumped right away. Um, but blocking like this is just heavy. Um, and can easily be attacked now. But again, shouldn't try to kill, but should just try to profit. Well, I think that's about it. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And hopefully this video was uh, helpful to you. And I will uh, see you next time.